fine. Oh. My name is David Perryman. The fort came into being because the white man, as he was now called, came there. He wanted protection from the Indian problems. Because they were hunters and gatherers, they would tend to go past the farmer's place and they might gather some of his corn and his goat. He did not like that. That's why he asked the army to please come in and protect me. And the army agreed to do so because there was an interest in opening the West. Life at Fort Verde was common to most military posts in the West. They were built by the laborer, provided by the soldiers themselves. Well, the big problem was malaria. Malaria you think of as a Panamanian type disease down in, in the hot country there, not in Arizona, but it was out here. You know, Dr. Edgar Mearns was the Army surgeon stationed here at Fort Verde. He was accompanied by his wife, and she was pregnant at the time. Gave us an introduction to some of the problems of childbirth in an Army post in that era. It's rather interesting how surgeons came to be in the forts in the West. People in the United States had lived along the East Coast for two or three hundred years and they knew nothing about the West. But at that time, the then Surgeon General of the United States Army was closely linked with the Smithsonian Institution in Washington. And they said, let's use the Army to help us gain information about the West. So this Surgeon General, about graduation time, would go around to colleges. Young men are graduating. They didn't have to be graduating in medicine, just getting a degree. And he would say, how would you like to go out west and be a surgeon? The young fellow might say, well, I don't know how to take out an arrow. Don't worry, the sergeant knows how to take out an arrow. But we want you to go out there, and we're going to teach you two things that you might find interesting and that we need. We're going to teach you taxidermy and photography. The days are getting shorter and a cold is setting in. Preparations for winter have taken longer than normal. The harvest is almost over and I don't know if the rations will last. The men are getting restless and there is not much action to be had. Ella is with child and it won't be much longer till the baby is born. 